Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. I am Mahogany Monet and today I'm going to be showing y'all how I achieved this look on this wig with no bleach. It is so pretty y'all. I'm so happy with the outlook. Let me know if y'all like the new look. Do y'all like the brows? Or y'all like, nah, not the brows. I don't like the brows. Let me know what y'all think about everything though. So this is going to be like a tutorial. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and ring the bell for post notifications. And yeah so if you learned something comment down below comment down below videos y'all want me to do and yeah let's just jump right into the video so the first thing that we're gonna do is bleach the knots i'm using bw2 powder and 40 volume developer and we're just going to mix those together to make a thick consistency you want it to be thick so that it doesn't bleed through and bleach the hair because that's just not what we want we're trying to bleach those dark circles that are on the lace so they can't be seen because they are not pretty when they are seen so we're just putting that thick consistency all over the lace making sure that we cover every knot that we see and you don't have to use a comb i just used the comb because that was the first thing that i saw but i also seen people use spoons and i've seen people use the applicators that you use to dye hair i don't think using a comb is like the easiest option but i've been bleaching hair for a long time so i just use whatever i see so yeah i'm just covering the lace and bleach making sure that i don't miss a spot so what i like to do is flip the wig over right side up and put aluminum foil under so i can actually see the knots bleaching to make sure that i don't over bleach so the next thing that we're going to do is wash out that bleach and blow dry the hair. Now when you wash out the hair, you do not have to completely wet the whole wig. I just wet the lace part and I put purple conditioner on it. But you don't have to, you know, fully wash it because like I said, we're going to dye the hair after this. So now that we have the hair blow dry, I just put the hair in these five sections. I have two clips on the lace, two clips in the back, and then I just have the very back out because it's going to be the first section that we dye. So today I'm using the L'Oreal High Color in Magenta. I've seen people use these and they work. So you don't have to use bleach. I'm just mixing those colors with that developer and I'm not going to hold y'all. I got five of these and they was like $32 on Amazon, but it was not. I could have had more. I mean, it got the job done, but if I would have had more, I feel like I would have had a better outcome. So you, if you could get around seven, I think that would be good. But I'm just applying that bleach to the hair and I don't go by any specific, you know, I just put it on because it was, it's actually hard because you have your hands full, you have dye everywhere. You're just trying not to get it on your carpet, which I dig. <laughs> but yeah, I just put it on the best way I know how, making sure that I coat every strand of hair. And when it comes to the lace, I probably should have done it first, but I didn't, so you can see where I kind of bleached my lace, but I fixed that later on. Um, if you want to see me install it, make sure you watch the video after this because I'm definitely going to post me installing the hair. But this is what it looks like when the dye is on. And I let that sit for like two hours. So uh, when I rinsed the hair out, I was a bit disappointed because it was super dark, but you could definitely see that red in there. Um, and I was thankful that my roots did not bleach bright red how i saw some people's do but yeah when it was wet i was like there is like no color but it is color um you can't really see it right here but there is color so now i'm just styling it i'm putting beeswax on the edges let me tell y'all if you don't have a wax stick get the beeswax that they use for like dress it works wonders i promise so I didn't put any baby hairs on the wig in advance. I'm going to wait till I install it. But for today, I just made it flat, did a middle part, and I curled the hair.
So right here, I'm just correcting the parts, putting one across in the back. I just like to do that. It, I feel like it makes it look cleaner. And then eventually, you're going to see me fix the middle part. Um, so yeah. This wig, it came out. It was cute. Um, I like the red that it actually came out to. I don't really know what I was going for, to be honest. I just knew I wanted the red. I like the red that's that you can tell has been done on black hair you know i had red red hair before and i didn't like it that much so i really appreciate this burgundy so right now i'm just putting one curls in the hair So right here, I'm just cutting layers into the hair. I don't really know how to cut layers, but I was just doing something, and this this worked for me. Um, layers look better, especially when you're gonna curl the hair. So I just kind of cut some in. I'm probably gonna do more when I actually install the hair. So yeah. So that was the tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys learned something because that was the whole point of the video. Um, let me know what y'all think about the outcome in the comments. Because, yeah, who you know? Who you know? I look, do y'all think I look pretty? Like, do y'all like the new look?